article about how horseshoe crab blood saves people's lives. It's got a amoebocytes in their blood that attack bacteria and they're like way more efficient than human. The amoebocytes in their blood take 45 minutes to like identify and attack bacteria whereas like in humans it takes your white blood cells like two days. Huh. So anyway I'm both talking about how people they're kind of over harvesting could be making the species decline. Oh, right, right. Yeah, yeah. And their blood is blue. Isn't our blood blue until it? No. Tell me body. you don't really think that. I don't know. Oh. No, people think that because like when you look at your veins, it looks blue. Yeah. That's just because it's like it's really dark red, almost purplish, and it's, uh. you're seeing it through all these layers of whitey flesh. Yeah, yeah. Kids always say that every single year they ask that. <laughs> And Where so, does that first start Well, from? let me just, so here's the logic that I'm trying to get them to understand. Because they always say, your blood's blue until what? It, it comes hits, out of your body. Okay, well they always say, it, well it's blue until it hits the air and touches the oxygen. Yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah, okay. your blood's job is to carry oxygen. <laughs> That's true. Your blood is full of oxygen. <laughs> it drives me crazy. That's funny. I just, it comes because it, it, cause you're, well if you're a white person and your veins look blue underneath your skin. Yeah, yeah. Because the blood is blue, it's just because that's how it looks through all the layers. It almost looks the same like if you take a vial of blood and you would fill up a beaker with milk uh -huh. and you would put the vial in the center uh -huh. and look through, it looks bluish. Ah, interesting. That'd be a good science experiment.